Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. In this video, I would like to tell you about prepping in advance and how it could be probably the most important driving force in Kipju cooking. Uh, you probably have the similar experience uh, when we were out late one night and we just want to stop somewhere and to get something to eat rather than coming home to cook. Instead of eating out, uh, my wife and I decide to come home to cook and eat uh, because we have something already in our refrigerator and freezer. Uh, we arrive home at 7.30 p.m. Uh, I cook two dishes, a vegetarian fried rice and a chicken with jalapeno pepper and onion. Uh, we sit down to eat at 8 o'clock. The food not only tastes better, but it is healthier for us uh, because we consume minimum processed food. In this case, prepping in advance is the deal breaker for me. Uh, yes, saving money is important to me, but my health is critical. The more I cook at home, the better it will be for me. Uh, if this sounds familiar to you, uh, then you should seriously consider of prepping in advance. Uh, I know that the best way for me to show you how prepping in advance works is to show you a practical example of how I prepare this meal. The first thing I did when I walked into the kitchen, I went to the freezer immediately to retrieve an 8 ounce package of chicken that I had prepped earlier. Uh, the chicken has been thinly sliced and stored in a Ziploc bag for freezing. Uh, I can put it into a bowl of warm water for it to thaw in about 10 minutes. Uh, I next gather other ingredients uh, from the refrigerator, uh, which include cooked rice, a garlic, chopped broccoli stem, broccoli floret, purple cabbage, shredded carrot, frozen sweet corn, scallion, chopped onion, and jalapeno pepper. Uh, you probably think there's way too much ingredients for this meal, uh, way too much work, and you're right. Uh, if I have to prep all these ingredients just before this meal, I definitely would not do it. Uh, however, by prepping in advance, it is completely doable. Uh, basically, it is like putting money into your bank account. Uh, you can withdraw it anytime when you need it. Uh, first, shopping. Uh, I will shop for all the items that I will use routinely, uh, such as scallion, onion, carrots, so on. Uh, for food items, uh, such as meat that I could freeze, I would purchase a large quantity when they are on sale to maximize my food budget. Uh, number two, shelf life. Uh, I have learned the shelf life of different items. Uh, I have a quick inventory system help me to keep track of them. Uh, surprisingly, prepping some of the items actually increase their shelf life. Uh, number three, uh, storage. I could not emphasize more the importance of the stackability of your storage containers. Uh, they should have the same footprint. Uh, I use two different square storage containers. Uh, they can step right on top of each other. Uh, one is deeper and one is shallower. Uh, I would strongly recommend you to avoid containers of different sizes because they are far less efficient. Number four, cutting. Uh, I will cut and chop my food ingredients that is optimum for stir fry. Uh, I usually cut them to the uh, upper limit of the stir fry size. Uh, I know I can always cut them smaller, as in this case, I chop the purple cabbage smaller for the purpose of the fried rice. Uh, similarly, I cut the broccoli for it smaller to uh, make them more fitting for the fried rice. Uh, since I have already have all the ingredients prepped in advance, uh, uh, cutting them a little bit smaller takes very little time. Uh, it takes me about 10 minutes to have everything ready to cook. Next comes the fun part. Uh, I really enjoy cooking in the wok, uh, particularly to have all the ingredients ready uh, in my fingertips. It is a process of creativity. Uh, the fried rice is based on my basic fried rice template and all the ingredients just the substitution of different parts. Uh, because of my familiarity with the template, uh, I know the dish will come out well. Uh, the chicken dish is also based on a template. Uh, it makes the cooking process much more intuitive as well as creative. Okay, I hope you can see how in this case prepping in advance uh, drives the cooking. Uh, if I have not have all these ingredients already ready, I probably would not come home to cook. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notification of my future video postings. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.